Hi, and here's a brief overview of how to remove the transport lock from your plate reader once it arrives in the lab and you have it out of the box. There are two transport locks used to hold the plate tray in place during shipment. The locks are located here and here. To remove the first lock on the left, you'll want to open this door, usually by pressing in on it here and by pulling out. And you're going to back this screw off completely and remove the screw. Turn it counterclockwise and then set this screw aside. Using your fingers you can press on the base of the door here to start to hinge it open and then pull it the rest of the way open with your thumb. Being careful not to place too much pressure downward on this door. Then for this lock on the right you're going to back it off counterclockwise about one entire turn, maybe a little more than that, just so you start to feel it become loose. Then you could use your, uh, the screw here to grasp and pull the carrier out. You may also choose to reach inside, get your hands around the lip of the carrier and try to pull it out. Although I like this technique better. Alright, the locks slide off like so. This one will slide off and you can set this one aside. This one, it's best to remove the screw entirely. And then as you start to guide it off, you may have to bend it open ever so slightly to get it to come off. Set that aside and then gently slide the plate carrier back inside the instrument until the door is closed. When you're done with this, you're ready to plug the instrument in and begin to operate it.